Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. Okay, today's Thursday, May 2nd. Uh, clear skies right now, currently at 66 degrees. High today is going to be 84 and we got to mow. I mowed that bank back there yesterday and it was like 78 or something like that, 76, 78, and it was pretty warm. And not, there wasn't a nice breeze blowing like the last time when I mowed. Uh, so I got that done, and today we have to do the rest of the yard, which takes quite a while. Uh, and it's supposed to be 84, so. Oh, Lord. Okay, no chance of rain, though, and the wind's at 4 mile per hour. And I'm looking at the, uh, you know, extended forecast. There's going to be a chance of rain for about the, la uh, the next eight, something like eight days. And you know I couldn't see any further than that, but good grief, that's that's a lot going to be a lot of rain if it stays like it like they think it will. Um, lots of times it'll change, you know, the weather, um, the forecast and stuff. So anyway, um, today they'll be an out and about with Mike and Joy. I haven't done one of those in a little while, um, and or we haven't, and uh, we had to go. Uh, I don't know if we went anywhere else but we had to go to her the dentist that she had been seeing to get some uh, x-rays that they took and we took them to the um, the uh, the one that's gonna pull her teeth so that she doesn't have to have more x-rays unless they'll probably come up with a reason that you know but they've got the, the all the x-rays I think they need but you never know supposedly I'm, at least that would help some I hope um, yeah and then we went from from the other one and there was a lot of construction on that road that uh, where we went to get the x-rays from uh, they were actually like copies you know like copies of the x-rays okay uh, so yeah and also and I think it was a nice day out too really nice uh, What's for dinner? Uh, since we're finishing mowing today, we never, I mean, I'm not going to feel like doing, uh, you know, cooking a recipe or anything. Uh, so we're, we're thinking about getting something out. We don't know for sure, but, um, you know, we love uh, Popeye's, their chicken sandwich. And so I imagine their chicken is good as well. We've never actually, I don't know if we've ever actually just bought chicken there besides a chicken sandwich. I'm not for sure. But um, they've got like a family meal that sounds really good with 10 pieces. I think it has two large sides and five biscuits or something for, I think it was like 20 bucks, 21 bucks or something. Um, I got like a coupon. I don't know if it's even more than that without the coupon, but we, I don't know if we'll do that. We were talking about it. We may end up just running to pals. You know, that's what we end up doing half the time or more than half the time. We, we hardly ever go anywhere but pals. We might get Bojangles breakfast every now and then because they have breakfast all day. But that's about it. Usually it's Bojangles or Pals and that's it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And the joke of the day, the first one doesn't, uh, I, I didn't, I just didn't like it, the first one. But this one here is pretty good. A dentist was about to leave his office with his golf bag on his shoulder when the phone rang. Doctor, the caller said, I have a terrible toothache. Can I stop by your office in a few minutes? Sorry, replied the dentist, but I have a previous appointment to fill 18 cavities this afternoon. <laughs> uh, okay, and this one, um, they didn't have a joke of the day today in my emails. So what I did was... Um, there's a bunch of old emails. I, I need to probably go back through and delete them. And so I just went back. This is from 21, <laughs> from 2021. Uh, so they did back then, they did fact of the day. You know, it's thought of the day now. They did fact of the day all the time. So they're really good though. Uh, like this one is, uh, according to National Geographic, researchers have estimated that every 14 days, a language dies or ceases to be spoken isn't that terrible every 14 days that, that's just 
unbelievable, you know. So anyway, yeah, that's something to think about. That it shouldn't happen, really. Uh, okay, and I didn't have, since this is in 21, I have to go way up here. And uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find one without having to really look all over. I guess I'll try this. It might be about, I don't know if it's, it says general, but let me go to the site for trivia time. Which of these conditions is commonly known as pink eye? Arthritis, conjunct Tovitis, pericarditis, bronchitis. You know, uh, I don't know if I've really heard the technical word for it. It seems like I have somewhere. Um, I like the medical term for it. I know pink eye is no fun. Seems like I had it a long, long time ago. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, arthritis, conjunctivitis, peri pericarditis, and bronchitis. I think it's conjunctivitis. Yes. Conjunctivitis, commonly known as pink eye, is a common disease. Conjunctivitis is an inflammation of the co conjunctiva, the clear, thin layer that covers the surface of the eye and the inner eyelid. Okay. Doesn't sound fun talking about it or reading about it. If you are awake during surgery, what type of anesthesia did you receive? New, new, pediatric, local, general. If you are awake, what type of anesthesia did you receive? New, pediatric, local, general. I think it's a local. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, I've had that done. I mean, uh, a local anesthetic is a medication that causes the absence of pain sensation. In the context of surgery, a local anesthetic creates the absence of pain in a specific location of the body without a loss of consciousness as opposed to a general anesthetic. I prefer just knock me out, you know, knock me out. And I don't want to know nothing. <laughs> you know. Uh, what is the medical term for surgery that changes the shape of the nose? And they show a picture of an eye. So. <laughs> uh, arthroplasty. Colostomy. Rhinoplasty. Mastectomy. <laughs> Man, if they... Uh, uh, um, wow, well, I, you know, I, other than seeing things in like movies, maybe where they had something done or, you know, some kind of plastic surgery, um, uh, arthroplasty, col colostomy, rhinoplasty, mastectomy, I think it's rhino. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on, it's not going to be <laughs> mastectomy. Or colostomy, uh, which I, you know, I know all about that. And anth I don't really know what arthroplasty is, though. A rhinoplasty, also called no job, nose job, or nasal reconstruction, is a plastic surgery procedure for altering and reconstructing the nose. Hmm. Which drug was the first to be mass marketed and sold over the counter? Uh, was the first? Uh, Benadryl, ibuprofen, aspirin, benzodrine. Well, some of these hadn't been around forever, you know, for it to be the first. Benadryl, ibuprofen, aspirin, benzodrine. I'm going to say <laughs> aspirin. <coughs> yes. The first tablet form of aspirin appeared in 1900, creating an ease of use that quickly expanded the drug's recognition among professionals. Medical reports highlighted the benefits of aspirin, and its popularity reflected the 
already significant use of salicylic compounds. Okay. What health condition is medically called hypertension? I think everybody will probably know this. Headache, respiratory disease, acne, high blood pressure. Headache, respiratory disease, acne, high blood pressure. It's high blood pressure. Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a long-term medical condition in which blood pressure in the arteries is persistently elevated. I have it, but it's under control with my medicine. And it's really taken care of it. I mean, it really has. Now, if I go to the um, any doctor, um, any anything medical of anything at all, I my blood pressure goes up. I guess I got what they call lab coat syndrome or something. Listen, I've had so much done and so much been hurt so many times and different things that you know hospitals and uh, you know emergency rooms and. Uh, you know, doctor's offices and everything. Um, it's no wonder. I mean, I, I, I get anxiety and that raises my blood temp, my blood pressure. They'll check my blood pressure and it's, I don't know why they even bother. Uh, they'll check it every time first, you know, when I go in, when the nurse takes us into, a, takes me into a room waiting for the doctor and um, it'll always be too high. And then they'll wait and check it like, when it's about time to leave, let's say, and it'll be fine. So I can't do anything about it. I don't, I mean, I can't stop it from, you know, from uh, get, getting up higher when I've, you know, got anxiety or something. Okay, what is a medical term for a broken bone? Fissure, fracture, fission, fragment. <laughs> I think this one's pretty easy. Uh, fissure, fracture, fission, fragment. So why do they have all F, F words? <laughs> fracture, of course. A fracture is a broken bone. It can range from a thin crack to a complete break. Bone can fracture crosswise, lengthwise, in several places or into many pieces. Most fractures happen when a bone is impacted by more force or pressure than it can support. Six right. None wrong. Wow. Okay, I might not know this. Where was the first lung transplant performed? Hmm. Los Angeles, California. Jackson, Mississippi. Chicago, Illinois. New York, New York. Man, man, oh man. I'm not for sure about this at all. Um, Los Angeles, Jackson, Mississippi, New York, Chicago. I would, you know, I would think New York. But I'm thinking maybe something about Chicago. My first pick was New York. I'm going to go with it. Nope, it's Jackson, Mississippi, which I wouldn't have thought to do, uh, you know, to say. But I just learned something, okay? The first lung transplant was performed in Jackson, Mississippi, everyone. The first human lung transplantation was performed on June 11, 1963 at the University Hospital, Jackson, Mississippi, by James D. Hardy and his team. The donor died of a massive, massive heart attack resulting in heart failure and shock and was therefore the first non-heart beating donor. What? So they were supposed to. They were supposed to give this guy a lung. Is that what it's saying? And then he died. And then they. They took his heart. Is that what I'm. I'm a little mixed up on that. But anyway. Jackson, Mississippi. Six right, one wrong. So much for my perfect score today. What is the medical term for a sideways curvature of the spine? Soliosis, endometriosis, amoebiasis, amoebiasis, 
A-M-O-E-B-I-A-S-I-S, -S, or influenza. <laughs> oh, that awful curve in my back, that influenza. <laughs> That's not right. Okay. Uh, I think it is uh, soliosis, if I'm pronouncing it right. Yes. Soliosis is where the spine twists and curves to the side. It can affect people of any age from babies to adults, but most often starts in children aged 10 to 15. Come on. Next question. Analgesics are used for the treatment of what? Parasitic worms, hypertension, pain, head lice, <laughs> analgesics. What are they used for? Get rid of the nasty parasitic worms, hypertension, pain, head lice. I think it's pain. Analgesics are medications that relieve pain. Unlike medications used for anesthesia during surgery, analgesics don't turn off nerves, change the ability to sense your surroundings, or alter consciousness. They are sometimes called painkillers or pain relievers. Okay. Eight right and one wrong. Got one more. How would you take a medication labeled as sublingual? Under the tongue. Inhale it. In the food, dissolve in water. Um, I, I don't have any right now, but I used to have a B12 supplement that you put under your tongue, and it's sublingual. That's right. Sublingual, from the Latin for under the tongue, refers to the pharma pharmacological route of administration which substances diffuse into the blood through tissues under the tongue well okay all right everybody i got nine and one today i'm I, i'm surprised i knew some of that but I, i've been in the hospital a lot and stuff maybe i learned all this stuff or i've like we've also watched a lot of medical shows on tv and stuff before so you learn a lot off them too so anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed trivia time today and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And uh-oh, where in the world? And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day and a great morning. And definitely check out Out and About with Mike and Joy today. Hadn't done those in a little while. So check it out, everybody. Have a great day and God bless.